Afternoon guys, right, this is a video about um, homemade ration packs, trying to get uh, the weight down on my pack for, for carrying food. Um, so I decided to make some homemade 24 hour ration packs, um, so I'm going to have breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, like I say, I'm trying to keep the weight down, so I'm trying to um, use sort of pastas, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what I'm going to have in my uh, 24 hour ration pack and then what I'm going to do is vacuum seal it and see how small I can get it. Um, I'm pretty much taking minimum, you know, a, a small breakfast, uh, a small lunch and a, a bit of a bigger evening meal, um, some drinks, some snacks. Um, I've got quite a sweet tooth so there's going to be lots of sweets in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like I say, show you everything I'm going to pack and then uh, take you through the vacuum sealing process. Okay guys, right, uh, firstly breakfast. So for this um, ration pack, we're gonna have a blueberry turnover. Uh, this is out of British Army ration pack anyway. Um, and coffee, three in one. So that's breakfast. Lunch. Will be a mug shot snack so it's uh, roast chicken flavor i've just had three of these from um like a pound shop for 99p obviously 33p each which is great um also with that i'm gonna have another coffee another three in one try and put them in in there for you to see. Um, okay, for um, evening meal, um, we've got like a a potato rossi thing. Now this does serve two, but it's only six hundred calories for um, for the whole thing. About six hundred and sixty calories for the whole thing. So that would do me. Um, it's obviously potato uh, with bacon and cheese. This is from Lidl, I think it was. Um, not very expensive, maybe one pound fifty. Uh, but for an evening meal, that's not too bad. <clears throat> then, obviously, followed by another three-in-one coffee. So I'll just move them out of the way. Right. So snacks got. An apple muesli bar. These again are from Lidl. I think they were about a pound for eight, something like that. So I'm trying not to spend too much money, keep the costs down. Um, hazelnut wafer slice. These are quite nice. Chocolate hazelnut uh, and wafer. Again, these were about a pound for twelve, something like that. Um, I've also added an energy gel um, sometimes when you're on the go you just need a quick boost so so I thought I'd put that in the pack as well um, can't remember where I got these from um, I think somebody sent them to me uh, it's just a, a fruit punch drink it makes uh, one and a half litres of water put that in um, it's just a bit nicer than plain water. Also, it's, it's got vitamin C. Oh yeah, vitamin C on there. Also, another drink, hot chocolate. When you just need a boost and your morale's down a bit. Can't beat a hot chocolate. And. Some knockoff Werther's Originals called Buttercup, Butterscotch Sweets. Um, these are, I think, 99p for a pack of I don't know, about 100, something like that. Um, so, like I say, it's quite a cheap um, 24 hour ration pack. So, like I say, you've got breakfast, lunch. Main meal, and then some snacks, 
a bit of a boost, a drink, another hot chocolate, and some sweeties. Right, so what I'm going to do is um, get the sealer, uh, the, the vacuum sealer set up, and I'm going to put all that into the vacuum sealer and see how small we can get it. Right guys, for everyone that's not familiar with the vacuum sealer, um, you basically have a roll of um, a sealer bag, it's just, it's just one continuous roll, uh, you cut it off and then you seal one end, put your stuff in, seal the other. Um, but what I do is kind of put everything in first and see what's the best way of putting it and uh, see if I can make it smaller. Um, and then what I'll do is cut what I need off, seal one end, um, I always put a double seal on it, no no other reason than I can and that's it really, um, it's better to I suppose have a double seal in case the first seal doesn't, um, doesn't seal properly, so I double seal it and then vacuum this end and then double seal it. But what I'll do is um, obviously show you the vacuum pro process. Okay guys, this is my vacuum sealer. Um, it's a JML. The only reason I bought this one is because a friend of mine had one, um, the, exactly the same one. Uh, and I thought it was really good. You can, uh, there's three buttons here, there's a cancel there. Um, seal only, so that's to seal one end. Um, and then vacuum and seal. Um, but what you can do is when it's vacuuming, if you are vacuuming um, a liquid or um, like a bolognese and you've got a bit of sauce in there, um, once you start vacuuming, if you think that the sauce is going to start coming through the seal, then you just click seal and it will automatically seal um, because you don't want the seal um, to be wet or the plastic bag to be wet when you're trying to seal it because it just won't seal. Um, so I like the options there. Um, so pretty straightforward. You open it here. Um, this is your heating strip. So this is your sealing strip. Uh, this is your vacuum. So for this, we're just I'm just going to put it there. Close it. It needs a a good push. Um, and then you press seal only, red light comes on. Once the red light goes off, it's sealed. Okay. So there you can see it's sealed along that edge. So like I say, I do put a, a double seal on it. Just move it up a little bit. So that is a double sealed bag. So what you do now is put everything into the bag, turn it around and uh, vacuum and seal this end. So what I'll do is put everything into the bag um, and show you the process. Okay guys, so it's uh, all in the bag now. I actually was able to cut a little bit off the bag. Um, and also added some tomato ketchup sachets for the um, potato, cheese and ham rosti. Um, so what you do is make sure that the top of the bag is in the um, in between this seal here. Like so, not covering the um, air hole there can be a little bit fiddly um, then you press vacuum and seal
Okay. That is completely vacuumed and sealed. So what I'm going to do is just seal it once again. So like I said before, you don't have to worry about the um, plastic coming over this rubber seal because this is the sealing bar. So as long as you're on that. Okay, so we've got the double seal. So that is my 24 hour ration pack. Right, guys, so um, here's a couple more things which I've, I've got. Um, I'm going to do a few ration packs um, so that I've got them and they're there so I can just grab them and go. Um, so you can put things in like porridge. These are, I can't remember again, I think they were maybe like a pound for 10, something like that. Um, there's like a ragu pasta and sauce, cheese, leek and ham flavour. Again, these, these were three for uh, 99p. I got these today. Um, we've got instant noodles. Um, what I tend to do with these is mix a cup of soup with them. Um, Ainsley Harriet, he does a nice um, like a Thai chicken Thai style cup of soup, um, which goes nice with that. So I'll put that with this because these aren't the most flavoursome. So just try and spice it up a little bit. But these are about eighteen p, I think, for a packet. Um, and then again, some more ration pack stuff. Um, mushroom omelette. Lamb and chick pétergine. And here we've got uh, a tuna and light mayonnaise. So, you know, it can be anything really. As long as you've got a breakfast, a lunch, um, and an evening meal, some drinks. These are what I buy. Maxwell House 3 in 1, sometimes buy the Nescafe ones, um, whatever you can offer. There is 10 sachets for a pound. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's my 24 hour ration pack. Um, like I say, you can swap and change whatever you want, but uh, that's the kind of things I put in mine. Well, I'm going to start putting in mine because this is the first time I've done it. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is get a load together. And if I need one, if I'm going out camping or just need to chuck something into a bag, it's there. Grab it out of the cupboard, there. So, um, right, if you like, press like, share, subscribe. Um, all the best, guys. See you soon.